the warp server is out and i'm here again with a settings video for optimal settings so the game doesn't suck and the camera doesn't go all over the place okay so just follow my settings and uh you'll sh you should be good to go okay volume do whatever you want okay camera preferences this one here is huge okay let me move over to right turn all of this off okay just turn all of this off do not turn any of these on these uh slow down your game is bad okay your discharge scale animation if you were if you're that type of person and you want to see it sure turn this on but like i don't recommend it be on okay uh display preferences here uh none of these really matter okay show fps is fine uh the hide buff bar okay keep this off you want to see all your buffs it's kind of important okay mission tips take all of these on display skill preview uh keep that off okay everything here should be pretty standard you don't need to adjust any of this okay control preferences uh auto climb is okay to have not bad and then switch weapon to trigger fantasia um if you're a new player, maybe you can keep this on to trigger more Fantasia. But if you're an old player, you don't want to trigger Fantasia's. If you're a veteran or a skilled player, you don't want to trigger Fantasia's off of weapon switch. You want to actually manually trigger it on dodges and stuff. Uh, you don't want to like fuck up your timings. Okay, for a weapon switch. So pro players keep this off. Display. This is just whatever you want to do. Okay, this I'm not going to talk over. Camera, very important over here. Camera distance in combat. It's default to like 1.5 or one, I don't remember. Max this out, okay? Just like full max distance camera. Everything else, you could stay the same. And then mode of operation right here. This is your targeting method, okay? Very important. Switch this to manual so you can tab target the correct target, okay? Make this manual. Your locking method can be whatever, but make sure it's manual. Okay, this this can be your preference, which target you're selecting. Okay, auto correct camera distance, turn that shit off. Auto correct camera angle, turn that shit off. Manual target switching on. Okay. Uh right, and then battle camera, just keep it on default, because when you're on new, you can't turn the shit off, okay? Alright, so click manual first okay pick your locking method this doesn't really matter uh just make sure it's not smart and then you turn off all the the, the auto correct cameras okay uh for others this is your personal preference this doesn't matter if you want to show your name show your name uh transparency that's whatever buff bar over here buff bar mode okay i think it defaults to hide you want to be on more so you want to see more buff bar Okay, you want to see all your buffs, so very important. And then uh, damage display, it's default to percentage. I recommend fixed value so you can see exactly how much damage you're doing. And then uh, Wanderer skill visibility, this if your skills are too dank, you can lower this. Okay, but usually this is at 100. Display ally quirks uh some some weapons have super dank effects like zeke execute flashbangs you with black and white like super bright shit turn that shit off up by going here all right usually if you want clarity just turn both off all right this also turns off the fenrir music when she presses scale and all that stuff okay uh -huh. and then uh menu settings this is your peripheral preference doesn't matter if you want to hear don't want to hear your characters yapping uh you can choose to turn both of these off this is for characters when they idle and they yap and this is for your mc okay turn both of these off to lower the annoyance uh text settings this is personal preference i prefer list type 2 50 percent font size so you can see your numbers in a clean list uh and then, yeah, this is also preference stuff. Keys, everything else, just keep default. And that should be it. Okay. One important thing over here on display is the number of wanderers displayed. Okay. 
this thing, if you have a shit PC, you can lower it down. But I recommend you to lower it down to like at least eight. Okay, because for raid content, you have eight players in the instance and you do want to see all of them. Okay, don't go to five and try and figure out where the hell is my three other teammates in a raid. Okay, minimum eight. Uh, I preferred 16 because there's some crew instances where the, there's maximum 16 people. Okay, eight versus eight PVP. There's eight versus eight, 16 people. Okay, lots of things. Just keep it at 16 if you can. Okay, minimum. Worst case scenario, eight. Don't go to five. Okay, most people just stay at 30. It's fine. It's not that bad. And uh, that's it to the settings. Yeah, just follow my settings. Everything should be good. Especially the camera stuff. And uh, that's it to the settings video. Okay, have fun.